Well, hello there. It's that time again. Yes, it is. It is time for our weekly tarot slash astrology blog. And here we are, the first day of July, 2018. And as usual, I'm going to go over some major arcana cards from the Tarot de Marseille. Follow that up with a couple of minor cards to sort of give us some practical advice. And, last but not least, I will go over some astrology. We do have some good aspects to work with this week. So do stay tuned. Indeed, as always, an interesting ride. That's right. The cards are going to come on the screen here in a moment. The Major Arcana, three of them. They are going to cover my face. And the cards that are coming down now are the Devil, the Fool, and the Wheel of Fortune. So this looks rather interesting when we take a look at what is happening here. We have this crazy looking devilish character standing off there on the far left. The Fool doesn't want anything to do with him. He's just like walking away like, okay, whatever. <laughs> You're too ugly. I don't want to play with you. I don't want to look at you. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to traipse along my way. I'm heading for the Ferris wheel. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a wheel of fortune. Now, the thing is, the wheel of fortune is kind of turning against him. Okay, the figures on the wheel, they're turning towards our fool. Now, he's not really taking much notice of any of this. His eyes are pointed off on an angle up above the top of the Wheel of Fortune. So he's keeping his sights elevated. He's not getting sucked into negativity. He's not getting trampled by the wheel. Basically, he's going to keep his sights on where he wants to go. Now this is important to note for this week because this is a big, big holiday week. I know a lot of people are taking their vacations now because of the 4th of July, Independence Day, falling smack dab in the middle of the week. So this is going to be a whole week of family get-togethers, people traveling, encountering other individuals, partying, whatever. So there seems to be a need here to kind of rise above <laughs> some of that friction, <laughs> some of that negativity. That we're just naturally going to encounter. Other than that, I think it could be a real good week, and I hope you enjoy your 4th of July safely and in a fun way. So let's go ahead and take a look at some minor arcana. Okay, a couple of minor arcana are going to come on the screen. These won't cover my face, they're going to flank me. And the ones I got for this week are the Page of Swords and the Four of Wands. Now, pages are always kind of awkward. They kind of stand funny. They look like they're not quite sure what to do with their implement, whether it's a wand, a sword, a pentacle, whatever. And here's this guy. He looks kind of fidgety, and he's not sure. And he's not looking at that four of wands. He's kind of ignoring it. Now, four of wands can be stalemate, can be a bit of stagnation. I mean, fours are stable. Wands are working and activity. But it can kind of be sort of a, a stalemate. Okay? It can be kind of coming to a point of where you're not really moving forward. And we want to avoid that. The page wants to avoid that. That's what we want to avoid. We want to keep going in the direction that we want to co keep going into. So nothing wrong with taking a rest. It's going to be holiday time. But also we want to keep in sight our goals and especially who we want to be and what we really want to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on to some astrology. Now, we got some stuff going on this week. Got like about three different days with good aspects on them. Uh, and we're in a waning moon. And what that means is the moon is decreasing in its power. And the moon is a big communicator, the big mediator of planetary energies to the earth. So when the moon is waning, we don't want to try to attract. We want to dispel. We want to banish, get rid of things. Stuff like poverty, okay, loneliness, lack of love, 
lack of attention, lack of success. These are things that we want to banish. So we have some good aspects coming up, and there's enough of them that I'm going to put on my reading glasses. <laughs> yep. Bob with his reading glasses, and grab my little fellow here, my little ephemeris, my pocket astrologer, Jim Maynard's pocket astrologer 2018. I really like this thing. Very nicely laid out. It's very accurate. That's the main thing. Very, very accurate. So the thing that I saw in here that I liked is on... Uh, see, I, that's why I got the book, so I don't forget anything. Okay, Thursday... This coming Thursday, the 5th, the after 4th of July, we have the Sun trining Jupiter at 7.04 a.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. And we also have the Moon trining Mercury that night at 6.38. Now see what's interesting with this, this could be good stuff for abundance. But it's abundance in reverse. You want to banish poverty. Banish poverty say credit card bills, okay? Things you're behind on. You want to get rid of that stuff? So a working on that day, doesn't have to be at 7 in the morning, you know, unless you're going to make a metal talisman, something really permanent. You know, you can just take advantage of these energies and work with them. So that'd be a good day for some, doing something for along the lines of abundance or dispelling unemployment. You know, because Thursday, uh, excuse me, Jupiter Day, Jupiter rules, things like employment and speculation. That's a good day for that. Now Saturday, we're going to have the moon trining Saturn at 5.59 p.m. Again, Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Now Saturn is, again, a restrictor. He is disciplined. He can be a bit hard to get along with, all right? But he teaches us good lessons. So what you may want to do if you feel restricted, you want to try to banish some of the negative effects of Saturn then that'd be a good day for that. Or if you have chronic illness or have seniors around you, chronic illnesses, a good day to do a banishing for that condition. And then on Sunday, the 8th, okay, a week from today, we're going to have the moon sextile the sun at 2.01 p.m. Nice, nice. Because uh, sextiles are very pleasant, nice, nice aspect. And this is on Sunday, the day of the sun. So this would be a good time, again, for getting rid of health, negative health conditions, lack of success, anything along those lines is going to be blessed. Okay? So there you go. There's your astrology. I get to take my reading glasses off. Okay? And get to just look at you straight up. All right. Okay, there you go. There is your weekly tarot slash astrology blog. I appreciate you tuning in. I really do. I love you. Till I see you next week, many, many blessings.